The following is an independently produced community access program. The viewpoints expressed are those of the community access producer and do not reflect those of Shaw Cable Systems. The program is presented in response to CRTC policy guidelines regulating community programming. Well, how are you guys doing? Welcome to another show of Edmonton Unplugged. I'm here today with Rebecca Lapa. So stick around, it's gonna be good. chance never in this world I'm the queen of the May babe I'm the queen of the May my ex tried to flower died please don't be game but I am too beautiful for a weeping willow tree say his heart is breaking and what is it to me that that down sweet I didn't do that no I'm the queen of the May, babe, I'm the queen of the May. Days are getting cold, so I cannot stay. Frolic in the good times and vanish in the bad. When flowers bloom, I will resume my fun, don't be sad. I'm the queen of the May, babe, I'm the queen of the May. Boy, I think you changed my mind, I wanna run and play. What would I do without you on a summer's day? Your kiss is like the honeysuckle, can I get away? Darling Peggy, he's a rogue, but Jamie is a loon. He plays music on the streets for money. Peggy, what will you do? Your Jamie doesn't have a home. Where will you go? If you run away with him, sorry, but you're on your own. Tell you feel my mother
Lay the blame on him, my mother. Lay it all on me. I cannot keep away from Jamie, and he cannot away from me. Hi guys, Doug here with Rebecca Lapa. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, well, it's sounding really good. I, You know, it's really interesting because I was listening to your recorded stuff before, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really got a certain feel to that. Now, is, is that is that you making choices like that, or was it producer? Like, how, how did that come about? Well, I guess I've been writing for a really long time. Well, I guess in my short lifespan anyways. <laughs> uh, so I've been writing since I was like nine or so, and uh, I guess... I enjoy writing stuff based on stories, and most of the stories end up being stuff that I've read, like poetry, or like Tennyson and Edgar Allan Poe and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And like their stories are just so interesting, um, which I find fascinating because I really like stories, and I've been writing stories since I was a little kid. Yeah. And I think that's probably why my stuff is kind of not so mainstream. <laughs> So yeah. are you, uh, do you have siblings? You yeah, yeah, I have two younger brothers. Yeah. Two younger brothers, so you're the older one, hey? Yes, apparently. <laughs> and uh, so where did the music come in? Like, how did that get introduced to you? Well, I guess my dad plays some instruments kind of badly, and it's that's a running family joke. But I guess my parents have just always been really open to the idea of, oh, we want our children to be able to have lots of different hobbies and stuff because they maybe didn't get a chance to do that growing up. And so I've been taking music lessons since I was a really little kid. Now, is voice lessons a part of this? Because yeah. the range that you've got and, and the control that you're able to use, yeah. I could appreciate. And it's yes. actually quite great because when you Thank break you. into that higher area, it's just for effect, it's it's really nice. Thank you. Yeah, no, uh, I've been taking voice lessons or the little kinder kid lessons or whatever since I was a little kid at a uh, music school in St. Albert. Yeah. And... Uh, and then I started taking like private voice lessons, and then I attempted to take piano, which I quit, and then restarted again because I started writing music. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then so you found it for real the second time. Yes, for real the second yeah, time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I mean, I've been playing guitar, I guess, two years now because I started doing that when I did high school, so that was fun. And I picked up a banjo kind of at the same time. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now I heard that you played you played Folk Fest last yes, year. Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, how was that? That must have been great. It was it was amazing. Yeah. No, there were there were so many people. I got to uh, be on stage with people like Ruth Moody, and she is really awesome. Yeah. Uh, Basha Boulay uh, and a bunch of others, and well, also just all the people from the group that I was with that uh, was helping younger people get to play the Folk Fest. Everything was great. So. Well, it feels like you got some good momentum going, yeah. so I couldn't be happier for you. So thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, thank you. We got one more coming up from Rebecca Lapa. <laughs> up to me to a friend as the phone sharply rings he said it again getting high with his friend to be with him she would do anything but the love she receives is called to make believe is a genius in the folklore he's inside her head and when he takes her to bed he treats her like she's a whore it's cruel and this kind and he crossed the Crawl. Even if people see they still won't believe she didn't want it to turn out that way. Pushes her around and she won't stand her ground. Her heart's melting and goes clear. Else here's a cry, sees the pain in her eyes when she finally tells me the door. He says, just 
just wait and see You'll be calling for me It's the truth and do you doubt you The proceeding was an independently produced community access program. The viewpoints expressed are those of the community access producer and do not reflect those of Shaw Cable Systems. The program is presented in response to CRTC policy guidelines regulating community programming.